Hello, welcome to Pregium Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 17 of SQL Server. In this session, we'll talk about the purpose of union and union all, the differences between them, and finally, we'll also talk about the differences between joins and unions. Union and union all operators in SQL Server are used to combine the result set of two or more select queries. Let's understand what we mean by this with an example. We have two tables here, TBL India customers and TBL UK customers. And both of these tables have identical columns, you know, ID, name, email in both of the tables. Now let's say if I issue a select query against these two tables, look at this, I am issuing two different select queries. And if I just execute them, look at the result, I get two separate result sets. Okay, in TBL India customers, we have got two rows and TBL UK customers, we have got two rows. And I get these as two separate result sets. Now let's say I want to combine both of the result sets into one result set. How do I do that? Using union or union all. Okay, let's first try to use union all and see what happens. Okay, so select star from TBL India customers table and then I'm saying union all select star from TBL UK customers. And when I execute this query, look at what's going to happen. It's going to combine the rows from TBL India customers with the rows from TBL UK customers. So when I use this union all, I'm combining the result sets from these two select queries. Okay. Now, instead of using union all, if I just say union, let's see what's going to happen. Okay. Look at this. I got only three rows. But let's put it back to union all. We get four rows. And if you look at the output here, there is a duplicate record here. Number two, Sam, and email is sats.com. So when I use union all, I'm getting all the rows, including the duplicates. But the moment I remove union all, and if I just use union, look at what happens to Sam record when I execute this you know, we have got only one SAM record. And look at the output. It is sorted as well. Okay. But whereas when we use union all, you know, it's basically not sorted. It takes all the rows from TBL India customers, you know, combines them with the rows from TBL UK customers and just gives the output. But whereas when you use union, it's doing two things here. It's removing duplicates and it's also sorting the results. Okay, uh, we'll talk about the differences between union and union all in the next slide. So if you look at the differences between union and union all, union removes duplicate rows, whereas union all doesn't remove them. And another difference is for union to actually remove the duplicates, it has to perform a distinct sort and then it has to remove the duplicates. So for this reason, you know, union is a little slower than union all. And this distinct sort operation is actually resource intensive in the sense it's time consuming. Okay. If you want to see that, you can actually turn on the estimated query execution plan in SQL Server Management Studio. And to do that, you can either press Control L or you have an icon here which displays an estimated execution plan. So display estimated execution plan. When we click that, what's going to happen is it's going to show us the estimated execution plan. Look at this. In the display here, the distinct sort uh, is actually taking 63% of the uh, you know time. Okay. But whereas, on the other hand, when I use union all and we say display estimated execution plan, there is no distinct sort. Okay, so it just selects the records from TBL India customers and then combines them with the result from TBL UK customers and just displays them. But whereas when we use union, it has to first sort the records and then remove the duplicates, which is a little timing, time consuming. So for this reason, union is a little slower than union all. So these are the two differences between union and union all. Union removes duplicate rows, whereas union all doesn't. And union is a little slower than union all because of the fact that it has to perform that di distinct sort to remove duplicates. And this is a common interview question that's asked these days. Okay, so obviously, if you use union, 
we don't get the duplicates whereas when you use union all we get the duplicates okay and remember for union and union all to work the number data types and the order of the columns in the select statement should be the same okay because and that should make sense as well you know when we actually execute this query look at this you know if if we have to combine the results of this select statement with the results of this select statement obviously the data types and the number of columns has to be same okay on the other hand if you just say here I want ID and name and if you say here I want all the three columns ID name and email okay now if I try to execute this look at this looking at itself you can say okay first select statement is giving two columns whereas this one is giving three columns how can we combine them we can't do that so obviously when we try to execute that we get an error all queries combined using a union must have an unique an, an equal number of expressions in the in their target list which means equal number of columns not only that okay it's not enough if you just have equal number of columns you know they should be in the right order you know instead of if you say you know I want ID as the last column it doesn't really make sense okay how can you combine ID with email okay you can't do that so when we execute this look at this the conversion fail okay because what's happening you know it's trying to convert either this one I mean name to integer and it fails okay because it detects this as an integer column and it tries to convert this to integer and it can't be the implicit conversion files and we get the error so the number of the columns has to be the same the data types have to be the same and they have to be in the same order okay now you can do this okay look at this I'm saying okay I want ID you can say ID and email and then name okay you can do this when I execute this look at what's gonna happen okay um, I get the output but if you look at the output emails are combined with names and similarly here names are combined with emails okay so as long as th the data types are similar it tries to combine them you know even if they are different it, it tries to do an implicit conversion if the implicit conversion ha works then it selects them and combines them okay uh, but if the implicit conversion fails that's when we get an error so remember the number of columns and their data types have to be similar and even the order has to be the same you know if in your first query you have the first column as integer in the second query the first column has to be integer if here it's an n var char this has to be an n var char basically a string one a string column okay so their data types and their orders have to match and you need to have equal number of columns otherwise the union or union all doesn't work you get an error and we have already spoken about the differences between union and union all and sorting the results of a union or union all okay this is interesting and we know that to sort the results uh, you know in SQL we use the order by clause but let's say I have you know let's use star for now okay let's say I'm saying select star from India customers union select star from UK customers when we execute this we get the results now let's say I want to sort the results by name okay how do I do that we use the order by class so order by maybe name when we do that look at this it's not sorted now but the moment I execute this query it sorts the results for us okay now if I use order by on the first query let's see what is going to happen now when I execute this look at this it gives us an error stating incorrect syntax near the keyword and it makes sense look at this how does union all works it takes the rows from this table combines them with the rows from this table now it doesn't make sense to first take sorted rows and then combine your result will again become unsorted that's why after getting all the results then sort the results finally using your order by class that's why I think order by should be only you know within the last select statement for example I have another table called uh, TBL US customers so when I say union all 
select star from TBL US customers and we execute that it's going to get all the rows from all the tables and then it's going to sort them okay but on the other hand if if you try to use it on the second select you still get an error you know okay so if you want to sort the results of union use the auto by clause on the last select statement like so all right and differences between union and join we have spoken about joins in the previous sessions in this video series okay now unions and joins are two separate things okay but however you know these days people are asking this question what's the difference between a union and join okay join basically if you look at this union combines the result set of two or more select queries into a single result set which includes all the rows from all the queries in that union whereas what what a join does is it retrieves data from you know two or more tables based on the logical relationship between those two tables so usually tables are related to each other using primary and foreign keys okay so we will take you know the foreign key and look up its value in the other table and join the columns together in those related tables whereas in union you know we basically combine the rows so in short the difference between a union and a join is that union combine rows from two or more tables whereas join combines columns from two or more co you know tables for example you know we have seen the examples of union we have taken rows from TBL USA customers and joined them with TBL UK customer rows you now we did a horizontal kind of a join whereas if you look at uh, you know basically not join it's a uh, uh, union okay but whereas when you look at a join for example we have TBL employees table and TBL departments table in TBL employees table we have got department ID column which we then look up in the departments table and maybe we, we retrieve the department name so from TBL employees table I get employee name and maybe his age and then from TBL department table we get the department name so in joins we are combining the columns between two or more tables whereas in an union we are combining rows between two or more tables on this slide you can find resources for asp.net and c sharp interview questions that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day